Hi guys. Uh, first, I'd like to talk to you about good training in general. We will get into some trick stuff, but let's set some foundation first. Um, to me, good training means we have a plan, we have all our supplies, and we're just set up for success. <laughs> there goes Angus in the background. Uh, so what does that mean to me? To me, I have my treat bag, so I have an easy way to get to my reinforcer. I have a marker, I use a clicker, I also use some different verbals that we'll go into. Um, I have several types of treats. I have just her standard kibble. I also have some um, store-bought treats. And in the refrigerator close by, I have some perishable if we need to go there. We'll talk about that also in is your reward a reward, but later. Um, other things before we even get started, we need a plan for if our training isn't going the way we want it to. Um, for me, that means either my mechanics aren't working, my dog isn't getting enough clicks fast enough, um, maybe Angus decides to come on in. Any of those things can happen that interrupt the session and I want a plan for when that happens so it doesn't frustrate me. Um, for me, I typically either, I'm either gonna use a hangout cable or I'm going to use her crate or her place board. Um, hangout cable. Hangout cable is just this little chunk of wire cable and it can be used pretty much anywhere. You can either hook it to something by just putting this clip through the loop or you can just, for me, I just put this piece under a door and then um, attach my dog to it. So then she's there. I can either adjust the environment, um, stop and think and make a different strategy change and then get back to her. Another thing I love to use is her place board and she's showing that off right now. So she's just hanging out on her place board. Um, I can send her there from anywhere in the room but I also need to remember it's a distraction during training. So I would pick that up if I don't want her defaulting to that. That has a very high um, reinforcement history. So she's typical to default to that if she's getting frustrated with me. Ideally, that's not happening. Um, let me show you how the um, hangout cable works. So I just have the cable. I open the door. I slide that under the door and then it's attached to the door like that. Hey Gracie, here. Come on. Good girl. Good job. So then I can just hook her to this cable and walk away and she's fine right there. She can't get into any mischief. She's just going to kind of get her relax. We can move on with our training. Good girl. So that's pretty much all you need to get started and we'll go from there. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I absolutely forgot my most important training tool. It's this notebook. Um, actually, I have notebooks everywhere. I have different notebooks for different things we're working on because I'm a crazy person and instead of just picking a sport, I like to do all of the things. So we do tracking, we do water rescue, we do karting, we do obedience. We're gonna start some rally. Um, she's dabbled in nose work. So um, I have different notebooks for the different things we train, but I also have just one kind of daily workbook. Um, in that workbook, I have in the front, I have a dictionary of the words she knows. So uh, I just add to that all the time. She knows yes or the click means, hey, come get the food from me. She knows good means the food is coming at you. Um, she knows sit, she knows down, she knows here. She knows, I don't know, everything your dog knows, every word you use for them, release, obviously, um, goes in that. So then you can help yourself be more consistent, which helps the dog learn faster. Um, so we have our notebook 
in that notebook on the training day, going with your setup and your plan, I like to write the day, the environment, like I was in my living room or we were out in the backyard and it was raining or uh, it was so windy, the, wi the windows were shaking today. Um, and then I said, well, what we're working on and, um, and then I do a wrap up. I record almost all our training sessions because I like to see what I'm doing, which is <coughs> in turn showing what she's doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so today we're going to work on charging the clicker. So I'm going to write down the date. We're in the living room <coughs> working on charging the clicker. And then I'll do some wrap up notes afterwards. I like to pick two things that were positive in the session. And I also like to keep those sessions short, no more than five minutes. Okay, so if you're ready, let's charge that clicker.